Your total cost for lunch is $18.50 for food and $1.48 for tax. Part A, find the percent of sales tax on the food total. Part B is find the amount of an 18% tip on the food total. Uh, first thing I want to do is just remind you of the setup of our percent equation, and that is that our part is always equal to some percent of the whole. So by reading this question, if we can determine what is our part, what is our percent, what is our whole, uh, we'll be able to figure out the solution to this. Um, first thing, <clears throat> I want to point out that part A says to find the percent of sales tax. So we are looking for the percent here. So for this piece here, I'm just going to leave it as the variable P. If you remember, the word of always tells us to multiply. So we're going to take our whole amount and we're going to multiply it by some percent to get our part. Now, reading this question, you'll see that your total cost for lunch is $18.50. So when you hear the words total cost, do you think of that as more of a part or more of a whole? That's the whole amount. That's your total cost of your lunch. So for whole, we're going to substitute in $18.50. So right now, this equation is saying we're going to take $18.50, multiply it by some percent, and that's going to give us our part. And we already know the part because that is this $1.48 for tax. So when you, you know, get a meal, um, you have a total cost for the meal, and then you have some tax added on there. And they calculate that tax as some percentage of the cost of your food that you ordered or your lunch. So in this case, your part is just going to be $1.48. So what am I multiplying by? What percent am I multiplying by $18.50 to get $1.48? Well, to solve this equation for P, this is P times 1850. So you need to do the inverse operation and divide both sides of the equation by $18.50. Those will cancel out and you'll be left with P equal to whatever 1.48, $1.48 divided by 1850 is. And if you type that in your calculator, you're going to get 0 0.08. Now, the other thing that's a little bit tricky here is that when you're working with percent equations, you always get your percent in decimal form. So this is the decimal form of the percent. So when you think about this number, okay, so what, how would you say this without using the word point? Well, thinking of our place value, this is our tenths place, this is our hundredths place. So this point uh, zero 0.08 is really eight hundredths. And if we have eight hundredths as a percent, we're looking at 8%. So basically that's what your percent of sales tax was on the food total. You got your meal for 1850. They took 8% of that amount and got a buck 48, added that to your total. And make sure you understand that, you know, if you were paying this bill at a restaurant, you would have to add up the uh, $18.50 plus the $1.48 tax. So you would now be paying $19.98 total, which I know they didn't ask for that in this problem, but it's good just to make sense of what's happening with our situation. So as of right now, you know, you're paying $19.98 for this lunch. Part B, Find the amount of an 18% tip on the food total. Okay, so whenever we uh, give a tip, uh, we don't typically want to include the tax in there. We just want to give the tip based on uh, what the meal cost. So we want to find an 18% tip on the food total. So once again, I'm going to use this idea. My part is equal to some percent of my whole. 
In this case, I know what the percent is. My percent is 18%. And once again, when I'm working with these equations, I want to think of my percent in decimal form. So 18 out of 100, 18 hundredths in decimal form is 0 0.18. So I'm going to write that in for my P value here. Okay, and just like before, I'm taking some percent of the whole, so I'm gonna multiply that by whatever my whole amount is. And my whole amount, that's back to my food total. I'm taking 18% of this $18.50. So for this setup, that's my whole amount. So I'm just gonna fill in $18.50 for my whole amount. And let's bring down this equal sign. And the part is what I'm looking for. So what is my part? So I will just write in the word part right here. So my part is equal to 0 0.18 times $18.50. Whatever that is, and you know, make sure we're clear here, this part for this specific problem would be my tip. I'm trying to find uh, what the tip would be. So let's type that into our calculators. If we take 18.5 times 0.18, we are going to get a tip that is $3.33. Now going back to, so that answers that question. So the amount of the 18% tip, so for part B here, it's $3.33. Uh, find the percent of sales tax. We answered that part. That was 8%. But just to finish this idea, what would I give my, you know, how much money would I be given to my restaurant to pay my bill? So let's take our 19.98 plus our 3.33. Yeah, 8 plus 3 is 11. Let's carry the 1. 1 and 9 is 10 plus 3 is 13. Carry the 1. 1 and 9 is 10 plus 3. Is 13 and so our total uh, that would be put on our credit card or paid with cash however you would pay would be $23.31